click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Caliph al marmon had trust in Muhammad al khwarizmi the most celebrated mathematician. He put him in charge of the House of Wisdom, that great scientific edifice. Then he sent him on expeditions to explore many countries, which no other scientist had visited before. With the passage of time, this trust increased. Did I tell you about this book before, O oh, Queers Me? Which book? Here. Sendind? Yes. It is an old book about astronomy. This book was brought to us from India by an Indian traveler who came to Baghdad. Scientist Muhammad Al-Fazari translated this book. The one that you have in your hands. I feel that this book needs to be rewritten. Here is the book, in your hands. So think about what you can do about it. I'll have a look at it, your majesty. Al Khwarizmi met Al Marmor's expectations. As he revised the book and amended it, and he entitled it Al Sindhind as Sakir. Well, you've proved to me that you can rise to the occasion. And you, Your Majesty, are setting an example for every ruler in the role that the Sultan should play in supporting science and scientists. This is my duty which I can't abandon, by knowledge, the whole nation shall rise, and the country shall profit. Well, since you've finished revising, Sindind, then you are ready for the second mission. What is it, your majesty? Oh queres me, I know that you are interested in mathematics arithmetic and algebra. But you've excelled in other fields of science, and you have reached a level in them that other scientists in this time didn't reach. This is why I'm asking you to translate all of these books. These are the Greek books available in the House of Wisdom. Yes. All of them I want you to translate them. Alone? No, of course not. A number of scientists and students will participate with you in this translation. They are books in various field of science. If Allah grants us the success to translate them, this will mean that we will provide the students with a treasure of knowledge. And we will attain new generations of scientists, who will read things which no one else had read before them. This is such a noble task. So, go ahead and start putting it into practice. The exhausting work to translate these books begin. Al Khwarizmi succeeded in leading the translators team to accomplish this huge cultural project. A time came in which the caliph would assign a matter to our scientist that would go down in history. You traveled a lot, Khwarizmi. You have seen different countries. You must have benefited from these journeys. Alhamdulillah, your majesty. Well, the reasons behind what I'm going to ask you from you now, are these journeys that you made and my trust in you. It is also, because I know that you have enough knowledge, that qualifies you to achieve the result that I'm hoping for. You don't assign a mission to me, your majesty, unless it has a benefit for knowledge and scientists, both in their present and future. I want you to make a world map. A map? Yes, as we have many maps drawn by different scientists and travelers, and the maps always come out different from each other in many aspects. I believe that you are the one who I have the most confidence in, and you will give me a result, closest to the truth. It requires time and effort, your majesty, as well as much research, study and assistance. You are qualified to do the research and studying, I know that you that you always put a lot of effort into work. And make the best of your time. As for the assistance, come in, you may enter now. These is a group of the best geographers, oh queres me. There are still others who will join this team soon. Thank you for your support, your majesty. 
I think I can start now. I hope that Allah will grant me success to reach a good result. Al Khwarizmi started working on drawing a world map, and his assistants remained with him. Until Al Khwarizmi finally succeeded in drawing a map of the world, the way it was known at that time. A map which was the closest to the truth, among all the maps which were drawn back then. Alhamdulillah! We accomplished the job! Sir, may I ask you a question? Go ahead, kind man. As you know, I'm nothing but a simple attendant in this library, and I don't have as much knowledge as you or as the other scientists. But sometimes, I have the urge to ask some questions for which I can't find an answer. Why don't you ask any of my students who you encounter? Whenever I ask any of them, I either find him busy or uninterested in answering. Thus, I know that they are avoiding me. As who will be willing to teach an old man like me? Ask as much as you want, sir. If I know the answer, then I'll tell you by the will of God. I know that this drawing is a map of the world, isn't it? Yes, it is. Then why did you draw it in a circle? Wouldn't it have been better to draw it the way it is in reality, a flat land, like this map for example? But the truth is, the earth is spherical. What? Spherical? Yes. We don't live on a flat land. The earth is nothing but a huge sphere, floating in the space. It floats. I know that it is surprising for you to know these things. I'll explain to you some other time, as for now, I must meet the Caliph. He wants to be follow up the work progress in drawing the map. Promise that you will teach me, sir. I promise you, brother. Peace be upon you. All is peace and mercy be upon you. What's wrong? Where's me? Nothing, your majesty. There is a kind man who wants to know something and I promised to teach it to him. Will you teach him in such an age? There is nothing that can prevent a man from acquiring knowledge. But he's merely a simple attendant. And you are, Muhammad al khwarizmi The most famous scientist in the Caliph's court. Why didn't you send him to any of your students to teach him? If any of my students did his duty towards this man, he wouldn't have come today to ask me. Your Majesty, the knowledge that we have is worthless if we don't use it for the benefit of people. You are right. Quares me. You always convince me with your argument. Show me what your progress in drawing the world map. Al Quaresmi remained an example in passion for knowledge and in his sincere desire to benefit people by his knowledge. The Caliph al mamun died, but the role of the Caliphs in sponsoring knowledge didn't stop. Caliph al mutazm Billah followed in his footsteps. al khwarizmi kept doing his researches authoring books and coming up with theories. Caliph al Wathiq by Allah succeeded al Mutazm by Allah. You, your students and assistants are welcome here, O Khwarizmi. Thank you for your invitation, Your Majesty. O Khwarizmi, you are the chief of scientists and you were trusted by the Caliphs who preceded me. Alhamdulillah. Do you want to make another journey? Like the one that you made at the time of Caliph al Mamun? Of course, Your Majesty. All right. Choose whoever student you want to participate with you in this journey. And tell me, who will be your substitute in the House of Wisdom? The tough young men of my students will travel with me. They will be able to tolerate the difficulty of the journey. As for my substitute in the House of Wisdom, who will run it during my absence, I won't find anyone who is fit to do this task better than this kind man. The hardworking knowledge seeker. I feel that I know you. 
I've seen you many times before, but what? Aren't you an attendant, one of those who works in the House of Wisdom? Yes, I used to be an attendant there, your majesty. I saw you many times indeed. When I used to go there, but, what do you mean by, used to? This man is an example of someone who seeks knowledge. His age didn't prevent him from acquiring more knowledge. And he proved in a short time, that he was born to be a distinguished knowledge seeker. Alhamdulillah. This is from the favor of Allah. Then thanks to Al Khwarezmi, the great scientist who helped me. Great. Then you may start to prepare yourself to travel. Al Khwarezmi made many journeys. And he traveled to more and more countries. But he didn't forget his great passion for numbers and his dream to develop mathematics and asthmatics. We wonder where this dream will lead him to.